All right, in this video, I have a pair of New Balance sneakers that ended up releasing on Kith that was very interesting because I did not expect uh, the overall craze for this shoe to be the wear it is right now. And this is the pair. And actually, I lucked out and got them. I guess I could say I lucked out and got them because I, I had early access from Kith. I got an email that says, hey, you've got early access. If you want to buy them, they're like 200 plus bones. And here's the link. And so I was like, all right, cool. Let's get them and check them out. And then I, I saw the colorway. I was like, it looks like a nice colorway. Uh, but then I was like, wait, is this a Kith exclusive or is this a uh, Kith um, collaboration? And I was like, wait, this is not a Kith collaboration. There's no Kith branding on the model or anything like that. But it is a Kith exclusive, meaning they're only being sold at Kith, I guess. Maybe there is more pairs being produced. Maybe it was just really limited edition for now, and then they're going to be releasing more of them. Honestly, I don't know. I know that this isn't the first time that they've done this, where it's been like a Kith exclusive release without any Kith branding. So it's not a collaboration. It's just exclusive, again, to Kith. But it can be confusing because this one is an ALD collaboration right here. And this one was available at ALD, but it was also available on New Balance's website. And I believe other boutiques like Kith got this shoe to be able to sell. So interestingly enough, uh, that's just the way it goes. Also, this is another pair that uh, was released from Kith. And this one actually has the Kith branding on it, but also sold at other places like New Balance and stuff. So it's funny how it works out and why this one's so exclusive. And I feel like that's part of the reason why the resale is like crazy on the shoe. At this point, it's like over $400, $500 plus, depending on the size of the shoe. And I feel it's just the exclusivity of the product that makes it uh, the reason why the resale is high. Because it's a good colorway, but honestly, it's like, it's not the best colorway to release. I, I feel like the ALDs is really good as well. And there's a lot of different other colorways of the 993s that have released that make it like tough competition. But at the end of the day, of course, it's a great colorway and one that I'm happy about. I'm just, I'm kind of one of those people that's always skeptical about hype because it's like, if you look at solely at the product and go, okay, I get it, then that makes sense. But if you look at the product and you go, what? Like, why? Like, then I'm I'm like that person. I'm like, wait, why is this one generating four or $500? There's other really, really solid releases that New Balance has done with other collaborations that are not doing that. There's a Stone Island 574s I recently did a video on. There's also the Grayscales that I recently did a video on. Those ones are super fire as well. So there's a Slahi Benberry 992s as well. And all of those ones I think are super solid uh, collaborations. And then this is like good, like it's really solid colors, but it looks like an inline model, in my opinion, in what New Balance is doing. And that's actually a compliment to New Balance and their inline models because they do have Teddy Santis behind them, the founder of ALD, and he's been like heading this whole like Made in the USA project thing in the last year. And they've had a lot of really solid, great colorways that are available just right on New Balance's website. They're also sold at boutiques and stuff as well, but you can buy a lot of them and I'll link them in the description for those that just wanna browse through and see the great colors they have available just on their website right now. Yes, the price is expensive, $200 or so, depending on the model. But I'm telling you guys, the quality is really, really good on the New Balance line. They're really comfortable shoes. It's not like the comfort sneakers, like mostly on my channel, it's the max cushion stuff. This is like the older style of midsoles and stuff, but they're super comfortable and they last a long time. Uh, so it kind of justifies the price point in my opinion, because you get quality, you get craftsmanship, and you get a, an all around comfortable pair of sneakers. Uh, and New Balance has been trending really heavy. So it's nice to be able to see uh, Teddy Santos reviving the New Balance made in the USA line. And I'll take the opportunity to say, not just the made in the USA is really good. The made in the UK line is crazy good too. I just did a video on the most expensive pair on New Balance's website, which is like 250, but man, they're crazy. Like the 991s that they're releasing are incredible as well. I have two pairs of them uh, that I thoroughly enjoy because uh, again, the quality is really nice on them. So New Balance doing their thing, Kith doing their thing with this release. So on Kith's website, it says Kith for New Balance 993, $210 retail. Peyote and slate gray is the color, and it's a pig suede upper panels, mesh underlays, TPU eyelets on the collar, 993 logo on the tongue, US branding on the rear, embroidered 993 logo on the ankle, TPU heel clip with New Balance logo, cotton shoelaces, end cap midsole, rubber outsole. It's very basic for everything that I just mentioned. There's no bells and whistles to anything. It is high quality. It is nice craftsmanship, like I said. The mesh is there. The pig skin is nice. The liner is nice and soft as well. And the color blocking is nice. And this is a spring 101 colorway. So uh, obviously a nod to springtime coming up, even though it doesn't really have like the most spring like colors to me. I don't know. Spring is like more vibrant. Usually this is kind of like fall, but a lighter type of fall, I guess. I, I would call these like the light falls or something if I was going to call it. I'm not in charge here. Any which way, I like the colorway. I think it looks really good. I think overall what New Balance has been doing is tremendous. And I love the fact that Kith can actually release something like this and it can have some buzz for some reason, 
and uh, it's nice to be able to see that. However, I do like the kit collaborations with New Balance as well. Uh, in general, I think that they're really strong. And I didn't even show you guys a review of these ones yet. I still owe you guys a 990 comparison and a 991 too. I'm so bad about that. It's on my to-do list. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to like sit down and flush everything out. But this colorway is a really uh, solid colorway. And I had to buy these on the resale market, but the resale price has dropped a little bit. I think I got these for under 300 or so, uh, 250s or so, which I'm happy about. But nice colorway. And this is the 990 V4. So you don't see a lot of V4s out there. So this one's nice uh, to be able to see that. And then uh, this one's a one for one basically to this, the 990 V3. Now, one thing I did notice about this pair is the 993 is pretty prominent right here on the back of the shoe. But on the other shoe, if you look at it, it actually almost looks like a 998 instead of a 993. I found that kind of interesting. Obviously the 998 is a different model, but that very crazy curly three, just like, I don't know, it's like overstamped almost where it looks like a 998. I actually like the 997, 998s as well. I wish they would bring those back. Like this is a 998 and actually this is a colorway I designed myself. This is my sea and sky colorway, kind of themed after Hawaii. That was my intent when I designed these. This is something that they had available on New Balance's website where you can actually create your own New Balance sneaker, kind of like Nike ID and they had amazing quality materials, reflective details that you can add here as well. Uh, but I loved the options that they had. So I made this crazy blue pair right here for the 998s. And I I'm love it, man. It's crazy. But 998s need a revival uh, as well. But uh, anyway, what do you guys think about the Kith joints right here? 993s, something you guys were on or not? Are you mad you missed it? Do you think they're going to release more of them and restock more of them? I mean, it's kind of like the day and age of like limited edition, quote unquote, sneaker drops and then... 70 restocks and pairs of sneakers through the year but really happy that i was able to get them through kits program it's nice that they actually honor some of their long-term members it's one of those situations that's really a huge benefit to us the consumers out there that actually buy stuff from kith i buy t-shirts and hoodies as well as other shoes from kith and i get rewarded for that for actually being a loyal like customer i think that's awesome nike sneakers should take note on this because i have really loyal accounts that i bought a lot of things on from nike and my sneakers account is dry all the time to the point where I feel like I'm shadow banned and I create another account and then I have to create another account. Like I, over the years I've created probably like six, seven accounts on Nike and I wish I could just have that one original account and kept building on top of that one. But it just doesn't feel like it's ever going to hit. If I do something like that, uh, we'll have a dry spill for like over a year and then I'm um, on to the next account. And then I'll hit instantly when I create a new account. Nike needs to work on that big time. Kith is doing it right, and I definitely appreciate the fact that they are doing something like that they're doing. But appreciate you all for stopping by and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. And also, if you guys want to shop any of the Made in the USA or Made in UK collection, uh, use the link in the description. It'll take you to New Balance's website. If you guys do use my link, I do get a little bit of a kickback from New Balance. It lets them know you guys mess with my channel. Greatly appreciate it if you guys do that. Have a good one, though. Hopefully, see you back on the channel for some more content. All right, peace, guys.